Hello everyone, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a review for the new Aerial Designer doll released as a part of the Ultimate Princess Celebration Collection. She is the second Aerial, um, the redesign, right? Because they did the three extra ones, which was Briar Rose, Tiana, and Aerial. And this is the second Aerial that has been made. As most of you know, the first one uh, was released at the, earlier on in the collection. You can check out that review if you like. And this is really the last doll in the in the series. That's it. The collection is over. All 15 dolls have been released. Again, if you want to check out any of those reviews, the links will be below. So this beautiful area was designed by Rocio Cintron. I will put her um, information, her Instagram below, so you can go ahead and follow her and her beautiful work. She has been working with Disney for a very long time. And for this area, she was inspired by the ending scene when she comes out of the water. So that's kind of like the inspiration for this dress, which I absolutely love. So in this review, we're going to go ahead, get her out of the box, take a closer look at everything. And yeah, let's get started. Her box is a beautiful purple metallic color. We have the designer collection logo at the top. And here on the sides, we have the little seahorses, which is like the logo that they gave her. It says ages six and up. We can kind of see a print of a flower there, depending on the light, you can see it. Then it says designer collection. Got the little seaweed, really cute. The seahorse again on the bottom. And she is limited edition one out of 5,500, which is way lower than the first one. The first area was 10,000. So on the back of the box, we have a picture of Rocio, the designer of the doll. And it's in black and white as all the other designer pictures have been, which is really cool. Then we have the Ultimate Princess Celebration logo and we have a description here. You can go ahead and pause if you like to read that. It's in several languages. And the retail price is not on the box, but it is the same as the entire collection, which is $129.99. So when you open the box or the sleeves, on one side you have the Certificate of Authenticity, which you can see here. And this is my limited edition number. You can see a pretty cool number. <laughs> and on the other side of the um, sleeve, we have the designer card. Again, we have the picture of the designer and we have a picture here of the Kiss the Girl boat. On the other side, we have a sketch of the doll. And I, th I think overall it translated pretty well, but you can see in the sketch that she meant for it to be more of like a soft fabric flowy kind of thing. And then the doll has a, a different material than I think what the design called for, if that makes sense. Before she comes out of the box, I always like to give you a quick look at what she looks like in it. And as you can see, we have a beautiful background, lots of space for you to see the background. We have a rock and we have the ocean and it looks really nice. Again, this is supposed to be inspired by the end of the movie when she comes out of the water. So the background is very fitting. You can see her shoes, um, the actual base, Again, it's cardboard instead of the fluffy that the first doll got. Here we have Ariel out of the box and she looks just as fabulous. We're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at everything. First up, we're taking a closer look at her accessory, which happens to be a purse inspired by like a treasure chest, right? And it's see-through, it's plastic with gold detailing or painting on it. It's really pretty. You can see a little seashell there on the top of the um, handle and it doesn't open, right? It's just a piece of plastic, you know, you can't really open it or anything, <laughs> but it's really cute and just very, very creative. And I love the fact that it's included really, really nice. Next up, we're taking a closer look at her face. And this is definitely a face scope that we have seen before. You know, it's hard to pinpoint when it started, but we, we've had this one for a long time and they change it up here and there for the classic dolls. But yeah, this is also the same one they used for the first Ariel in this collection. I'll compare them later on at the end of the video. Uh, but as you can see, she has like really nice painted um, brown eyebrows. She has a little bit of pink and silver eyeshadow, rooted lashes. She's looking off to the side and she has a really pretty smile. I think she looks beautiful. They did a really simple job with the makeup. You know, it's nothing exaggerated or super glamorous. It's just simple and beautiful and soft. And I just think she looks super pretty. Really, really love her face. Ariel is wearing Dingle Hopper inspired earrings. There are metal painted gold and white there at the top. 
you could definitely remove them if you really pulled on them but they're they're on there pretty hard right i just love it this is probably my favorite earrings ever made for a doll <laughs> it's just so cool and that they were inspired by the dingo hopper i love that now she also has long long hair it's a side ponytail she has the parting on the wrong side but that's cool it still looks beautiful i love how detailed and nice it is put on there with a lot of gel right it's a little hard but the hair is really cool it's a mixture of purple some people said pink i think it's like a light purple light purple highlights with the red which is really unique for ariel we never really see this and it's really cool she has hair wrapped around with a rubber band and i can tell you that if you were to wash it it will probably be really long but because of all the gel you know it looks shorter definitely a lot of gel to do this curl curl you know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah absolutely love the hair really really nice she has this flower on her head which is really big it has a rubber band but it's attached onto her head with um, plastic tags i'm assuming you could take it off and wrap it around her ponytail i think that's why the rubber band is there now we're taking a closer look at her couture gown and as you can see on the bodice she has this beautiful uh, chest plate right with gems on them and it's very obviously like seashells it's kind of hard to see because of the gold and it reflects on the camera but you can see that it's like flower like a big flower with the seashells and the little gems it's really pretty and the smaller seashells i also love that the bodice has this stitching on it i don't know if you would call it embroidery i think it's more stitching and it's very reminiscent of like a net that you use in the ocean which is a really nice detail she has one long uh, one long sheer sleeve <laughs> and then on the other side it's short sleeve and she has this really pretty bracelet that it's hard to see again because of the gold but it's supposed to be like little seashells and starfish and stuff like that now the bottom part of the dress as i was saying from the sketch that she did it seems like it's supposed to be like a softer fabric so they definitely took some liberties here translated it into doll form because this is like a harder uh, fabric but it still looks really nice we have a lot of embroidery work here in lighter blue and it's kind of like um it's not really an ombre effect that they used it's more of like a watercolor situation going on as you can see it's like really pretty it goes from purple to blue because she's coming out of the water so the bottom part is more water right i love that i love the embroidery back here as well with the uh, gems and we see little seashells very very pretty and i really do love this effect it's very very cool i just really like when like things have a purpose right <laughs> because it, that's supposed to be like the water in the bottom part get it you know, i know what i'm saying <laughs> but yeah uh, she also has a stand same as all the other stands in the collection with the designer's signature below really pretty signature by the way um and yeah we're gonna go ahead and remove the outfit there isn't much more to see that you haven't already seen but i always like to take it off and kind of show you the way it's made and all of that she's also wearing seashell inspired heels right they're different from the first from the first area by the way it's like a green color that's see-through and it's a really good contrast to the entire look because everything is like purples and blues and then you have this kind of like aqua greenish um, seashell thing going on for the shoes really really like them they're very very nice i'm not gonna take them off because you know you get the point <laughs> now the dress itself again this is all one piece and as you can see, um, we have the seashell uh, chest plate, which is attached on there. You can see the little things on the, on the inside. You would want to be careful with that, that you don't pull on it too much. Because I can see it coming off and that's scary. <laughs> so the inside skirt is really pretty. Very, very nicely fitted to the doll's uh, body like proportion. And then you have the outside part, which it's attached on there with little tags, right? And I don't want to remove them because then I feel like it will lose the shape. Um, that they intended but as you can see lots of embroidery work in gemstones or rhin rhinestones yeah I'm forgetting my words <laughs> the inside is like a nice purple and then on the back again you have that effect which looks really cool and there you can see all the embroidery on the back part really pretty again it reminds me of the ocean i love the tiny seashells and yeah that's overall the dress and here we have both areas from the collection together and there really isn't anything to compare because they're completely different uh, one thing that i wanted to point out is that 
The new Ariel has just a regular Ariel skin tone that they use for her dolls. And the first one had like a pearlescent shine to her that made the skin color look different, right? But they're the same. It's just that shine. And when you look at the faces, again, as I said earlier, it's the same face sculpt. Only difference is in the makeup, right? Because the new one is more simple, while the other one had the baby hairs and the red um, lashes. She's also looking forward, while the new one is looking off to the side. So completely different face paints, same face sculpt, and yeah. Alrighty, everybody. So that is all for today. Let me know what you think of Ariel in the comments. Personally, I love her. I think she's a beautiful doll. I love the colors chosen here. Her face definitely stands out. Love the fact that she has highlights in her hair. My only complaint would be that she doesn't look exactly like the designer sketch, which obviously, you know, they never do. But I just wish that she had more of that flowiness that the designer clearly intended for. Uh, but still, the end result is amazing. It's just different, right? So... Anyways, like I said, I love her. Let me know what you think. This collection, the Ultimate Princess Celebration, is officially over. It has been a very divisive collection. A lot of favorites, a lot of hit or miss. And yeah, I'm just kind of glad that it's over for that. And I look forward to see what the next theme for a designer line will be. So again, thank you so much for sticking with me, watching my reviews. I will see you all on the next video. Bye-bye.